Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today we're going to be creating a highlight rendering. And rendering is basically the process of erasing out an image um, or using some type of erasing to create the image. And we're going to be using charcoal to do this. So we're going to start off by covering the entire surface of the paper with charcoal. And this is vine charcoal. It's very important not to use compressed charcoal for this. Charcoal is an organic material. They can be easily spread over the surface. Then we're going to use a kneaded eraser. This is a kneaded eraser right here and you can bend it and manipulate it into all kinds of different positions so you can create different marks with it. We're going to use this kneaded eraser to erase out the image. We're also going to use this tool. This is called an erase sole and you can sharpen it to the point, to a point like a pencil, but the material inside of it is an eraser material. So we're just going to be doing a sphere here. This is just a real quick demonstration of how highlight rendering works. So I'm going to start with my kneaded eraser and I'm going to start erasing out the highlights. Now this will force you to create a full range of value because you start with a darker surface, really more of a mid-tone um, in a value scale. And then you work your highlights and you work your shadows back and forth. So you start in the middle and work um, creating those highlights and those shadows to really create a full range of value. So my light source obviously is coming from the left side, so I'm going to define the highlights. Then I'm going to go on the opposite side of the sphere and start to define some of the shadows with the charcoal. Now this process is basically working back and forth between the highlights and the shadows. So you'll see in this video that I am erasing out areas and then I'm going back and adding some of the charcoal. Now I've erased out the highlighted side, I've left the midtones in the middle of the sphere, and I've added the shadows on the back side of the sphere. Now I'm erasing out the table just to give myself a little bit of an idea of where the table is. I'm also going to go in with the charcoal and add a little bit of a shadow. When I erased out where the table was, I did leave a little bit of a shadow there. Now I'm going to go back with my vine charcoal and add a little bit of that shadow. So this rendering is not all erasing. It's basically just a process of going back and forth between erasing and adding the material to the surface. And as I work, I'm going to get a little bit darker and I'm going to get a little bit lighter as well. So I'm really pushing that value range, trying to get a full range of value. And value, in my opinion, is the most important element of art. So it's very important that you try to create a full range of value in every piece of artwork you create. Now you'll see I'm taking my finger and I'm going back in and I'm blending and smoothing that gradation of value in the sphere. I'll even go back with a kneaded eraser and kind of help control that blending or that smooth gradation of value as well. Next, I'm going to pull out this great tool, the Erasal, and erase some of the areas with the Erasal. And the Erasal is a really cool instrument. It's kind of hard to find, but there's still some around. Um, I'm also going to take the Vine Charcoal and um, kind of darken up the bottom of the shadow. I might even go back with the Kneaded Eraser and work some more on that gradation in the sphere. I'm also going to go back and make a little bit more contrast between the foreground and the background by making the background uh, a darker value. This is going to push my value range and create more of a contrast between the foreground and the background. Now this is the point where you might pull out the compressed charcoal if you want to use compressed charcoal. For this video I'm using nothing but vine charcoal. Uh, vine charcoal is easier to erase, so you do most of your planning with the vine charcoal and then the compressed charcoal is more solid and pretty dark and you know there's a trade-off there because it's a lot harder to erase. So when I do this project with my students we also use the compressed charcoal but we use that at the end when we've erased out everything that we're pretty much sure we're going to erase out. Now I am going back and I am doing some more erasing. I'm erasing a little bit of a reflected highlight on the opposite side of the sphere. That comes from light hitting the table and reflecting back on a sphere. I'm also going to put a little bit more texture on the table surface that the sphere is sitting on and push my shadow underneath the sphere a little bit further. I'm also going to add a little bit of texture to the surface of the table. Now when you're doing this at home, instead of doing something like a sphere, you should set up objects on the table, maybe create a still life. This is a great exercise to do looking at something from reality and a still life works perfect for that. Um, highlight rendering forces you to create a full range of value. It's a great drawing exercise 
And this will bring us to the end of this video tutorial on highlight rendering. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.